against. Oh, well, oh, right in front of the gyrosphere. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Jurassic World Evolution. My God, it has been so many hots, hot minutes, hot seconds, hot hours, hot days, hot lifetimes since I have recorded a Jurassic World Evolution video. Uh, I think the last time I recorded may have been um, Jurassic Park Jurassic difficulty in the challenge mode. I think it may have been that. Good Lord. Well, here we are. And the reason why we are here today is to finally finish off uh, something that I have promised a long time ago. Um, and I just never got around to doing. While we do that, how about we have a little look around the park while I talk about it. Um, so, yeah, this game kind of stopped. It's being really slow. Um, and that's because we're not seeing every little bit of um, a development that it's getting. Unlike games like The Isle, where it's almost every week we get updates from the, like, you know, Dondi or the, the head developer. We see all of this stuff happen. Whereas Jurassic World Evolution, you've got Frontier and they're working on so many different games and they're... I mean, let's face it, they're not an indie developer anymore. They're, they're, they're kind of a big time player nowadays. Big name games under their belt. Elite Dangerous, uh, Planet Coaster and Jurassic World Evolution being three of the biggest ones. Oh, look at them, they're so beautiful! That's the thing, that's, that, that's what's slowing down Jurassic World Evolution. In my point of view, is the lack of customization with buildings and decoration. You, if you, we could just have desert parks, or desert terrain, if we could have rocks, if we could have fountains, if we could, if we could just do some other things, it would just give so much, it would breathe life into this game. I see it like, it's a, it's a canvas, and it's flat. There's no... I'm using one brush, one paintbrush to paint everything, I guess. It, it's just like, I just want more creativity with it. I mean, like, this, this is the best I can do. It, it's stuff like this. Um, when it comes to, like, you know, maybe we could have, uh, you know, like Zoo Tycoon, a donation box there. Maybe we could have them walk through a cave or something so it's enclosed and have some atmosphere with some music playing. You, you could do that all with Zoo Tycoon, but you can't do that here. Stuff that, um, Jurassic... Uh, oh, we, oh, we, oh, yes, off we go. Bye-bye! We're going to the, uh, the river place, which I've split up now. So now we've got Diplodocus and Sukumimus in there with... Oh, God, that's barely through. Oh, God. And then we've got the Baronyx and Dilophosaurus up here. Um, again, it, it's kind of weird that, like... We can't make Jurassic World in a game called Jurassic World Evolution. We can't make Mosasaurus in a pen. We can't... Oh, it's looking! Hello. Hello! You know when you're a kid and you're playing with toys and you put your head right next to them to see what they see? That's what this is. <laughs> I'm a giant baby. And this is what Allosaurus is. By itself. I guess I could put another one in there. They won't break out. You know what? I might as well do that. So, when eventually everything goes to hell in this episode, um, and we can just have everything break out fantastic um because really when you think about it jurassic world uh probably did have a crud ton of different dinosaurs probably not camarasaurus let's be honest it's just stuck in a limbo i feel this game when we would go approaching the petting petting zoos with the uh my mutaborosaurus yes that's right i just wanted to fit as many different species in as possible i just want more customization i really do it it kills me because there is so much we can do to this it's like with, with all these amazing models I just look at it, and I just, I want more. With Jurassic World, even Jurassic World, or Jurassic Park, Operation Genesis, the, the fact that you can choose your own island, that in itself just makes me love it. Because it's like, wow, like, this is my island. I, pre I, you know, I generated it that way. It looks this way. This can be where this goes. And here you just start with a plonk, a, a plot of land. Nowhere. Ooh, what's that? We need to flatten that out. What the? Ooh, so maybe that can be the Mosasaur, that lump. <laughs> I do like the game. I really do. And, you know, I followed it and it seems so promising. But what makes, like, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, in my uh, eyes, better than Jurassic World Evolution is that when you plonk all dinosaurs on a map, it feels like they're alive. So you have like a, a setting in the stats of Jurassic Park Operation Genesis, which basically says, um, 
the, the dinosaurs can be in a herd of so much, a minimum and a max, and also how far they, they need to be away from their herd leader before they turn around and, you know, come back and be like, oh no, I left you. <laughs> uh, and th this kind of creates some interesting mechanics where, you know, they won't leave. Oh, we, oh, we've got it. Oh, fantastic. Now, what are the dinosaurs did Indominus Rex be a part of? It was not a part of any of those. We saw like a, a skinky lizard, so instinctive repair will give it that. We'll give it snake, because there was definitely a snake in there. And it needs to be, it needs to be able to defeat the T-Rex, which I think we can do by just giving it that. It could definitely kill the T-Rex. Unfortunately, Blue won't be able to attack it. And we don't even have Blue in the game. <laughs> We don't even have a blue skin! Oh. Yeah, and also I'll make an Allosaurus as well because... I mean, we've seen in Fallen Kingdom one Allosaur get taken out by a meteor and yet they still save a meteor <laughs> volcanic debris. Um, and also one survives, so... Right, so Carnotaurus. CCC! Where are you? There you are. Lovely. Um, and we'll just give you regular skin. No, that's Alpine. God damn it, James. And we'll give you some attack. A lot of attack. There you go. Boom. And there we go. Uh, so another Carnotaurus. Shall we? Yeah, pretty much. We're just going to... I'm going to make as many as I can. So we'll open up another one. Um, and we will make another Allosaurus. We'll have this one a little bit different. Because, I mean, we've got to have some variety, right? When things break out here... It feels like the park is being overrun. At the at the time when I made this game, Understood. we couldn't do that um, because dinosaurs had to be, you know, they had to be a certain way. Oh no! Don't be unhappy, Apato. Um, we got paras. We got stegos. We we'll probably have a few more stegos. Oh, there we go. Is that showing? That, I don't think that's showing. Uh, hopefully, that's not showing. Somebody's logged in on friends list. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, there was only one T-Rex, so we need, we bumped up the Allosaur numbers, um, I mean, we don't really know how many Baryonyx there were, I mean, two is probably alright, there's probably that many Dilophosauruses. This is it, this is the episode I've been waiting for, waiting to do for such a long time, the episode where we do the events of Jurassic World. I just wish they could fight back, I really wish, because you just got a bunch of dinosaurs that are absolutely useless. Oh no, in comes an Allosaur. Rawr. They look so good though! Like, this game, it's so much potential! The, the models are so good, the animations are so good! And another thing which I like at Operation Genesis over Jurassic World Evolution is the dinosaurs' behaviour for attacking each other and hunting other dinosaurs. It, it feels more real in Operation Genesis, especially with all the mods, where now, like, there's mods in the game that have big carnivores do, like, little carnivore animations, sort of like, Instead of, you know, doing the same, puts head down and bites, and then the Triceratops falls over, gets up, and then goes away. That's the state of this game at the moment. Um, it's like JPOG without mods for battles. So you've got dinosaur, like carnivores attack carnivores doing the same animations over and over and over. Uh, mods saved Operation Genesis because instead of a T-Rex biting a Triceratops' tail and it falling flat on its ass. They, they have the animation where it breaks out, so it swings its head and knocks the Triceratops over. So and, and then not only that, but it can, you know, it doesn't have to wait for the Triceratops to get up to stop running again for it to attack it. It, it just, oh, it just, it just couldn't, they could learn so much <laughs> from that game. We really can. Uh, it's just a shame that they can't have mods. I'm sure Frontier are really annoyed as well that they can't approve of mods because of Universal's, um, sort of want and need to control everything under the Jurassic Park license to an extent. Oh, look at that guy! Look, he's like, oh, that was so cool. Ooh, look, Hawaiian shirt. Is that DLC? That might be DLC. <laughs> and these guys talking to each other. That's the thing, like, this sort of thing is beautiful. That right there. Especially when they see each other for the first time. They have a little interaction. They get to know each other. It looks like there's some sort of communication going on. The first time you see it, it's really nice. But then when you realize that it's just an algorithm, it's just a code. I mean, you know, we don't have AI, of course. We can't, we can't have them like that. Uh, okay, can somebody please fix this bloody Velociraptor? Because it does not want to hunt it. I think it's about like on the floor now. Yep, it's on the floor ready to die. And once we've made these Pachycephalosaurus, we'll release Indominus Rex. 
put battles of dinosaur fights up to like super high. Jurassic World Evolution, I'm oh, sorry, Jurassic World, it, it wasn't a breakout, was it? Like, um, it wasn't a storm that made all the dinosaurs break out. It was literally just the Indominus broke out and all havoc broke loose or happened. So when we make Indominus Rex, he'll want to break out anyway, just because this enclosure is just too small for him. So we'll see what happens when Indominus Rex breaks out. Oh my god! <laughs> I do like I do like this game so much. And I, I just haven't covered it recently because I don't think there's too much to say. If I'm gonna be honest, apart from a DLC. All we need, oh well, I've said a lot we need. It's not all we need. We definitely need a lot more. Um, if we've gotta be honest. But if those things are addressed and those things are fixed and you know, we get Aquatic DLC. I'll be so happy. Aquatic DLC, but the thing is, I don't want it to be cheap. I don't want it just to be, oh, here's the Aquatic DLC. You can plunk a Mosasaur down in this sort of exhibit, and that's it. It doesn't do anything. I mean, they'll have it so dinosaurs can still drink out of deep water, but you know, if there's a Mosasaur in the deep water and he's hungry, uh, it'll start that animation. And that makes sense to me, like, all of a sudden, you know, the dinosaur, you know, will, it'll start drinking, the animation will start going, the Mosasaur's lined up, the dinosaur bends down to drink, Mosasaur jumps out, pulls it down, and maybe the dinosaur get, goes to, like, the bottom of the water and just stays there until it decomposes. I'm not telling them how to do it, I'm just giving them <laughs> ideas. Horizon presents Indominus Rex. And then it killed its sister, you know, how, you know how it goes. We could actually have it kill its sister. We could make a black Indominus. Actually, no, technically. Well, it doesn't even, I wouldn't said it was black, was it? We could just make another Indominus and it could kill it. Oh, you see, it's sort of, it sort of camouflaged as it went through trees there. So we'll have normal escapes, no power outages. Uh, yeah, go on. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's see if we can keep on top of that. We'll set that to none at the moment, just because I want the Allosaurus to break out before they end up killing each other, because they're just going to kill each other while they're in there. Herbivores able to initiate fights on. What? Why would you turn that off? Boom. Okay, so here we go. Dinosaur escapes now will happen. So I think we've got a load. We have, yeah, these guys are going to break out. <laughs> if not into them. Um, right, so there we go. We've made Indominus Rex. Yeah, look at those guys. They're going to be very unhappy with the population because they're getting a load more. And actually, maybe not. Maybe the, actually the Pachycephalosaurus might be. Ooh, they're teetering and tottering. Um, yeah, Triceratops. That's fine, I think, honestly. So Indominus Rex, as soon as it starts... Oh, it's missing grassland. Oh, it does tell you. Yeah, well, it's also missing forest. So hey-ho. And it's discomfort. There we go. So now it'll start to break out. And other dinosaurs that will break out. I think Gallimimuses are okay. Ooh, they get... Oh, fence broke. That was quick. Okay, what do we have? Ah, it's Allosaurus. That was... So oh, wait, what? You haven't broken the fence, though. I was gonna say, you haven't broken the fence yet, buddy. You can't do that. There we go, yes, yes. Oh, never... Oh, wait, what? What kind of fence is that one? Oh, no, there we go. Okay, fantastic. He always decided to go round. <laughs> Yes! The first breakout! And it wasn't Indominus, it was Allosaurus! Oh, there you go. So, at the moment, we have an asset out of containment! It's approaching, or it has approached, the, um, the walkway! Or the, um... The... Oh, I can't remember. The Brachiosaurus! The Brachiosaurus! The one with the big head! <laughs> Look, they can see. Now, my curiosity is whether it will break into other... Ah, oh, shit! Got kicked! Oh, they also, they all got kicked. Look at these guys fall. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, my God. It's not even attacking anybody. <laughs> it's just running. Dun, dun, dun. What's the other ones doing? That's what I'm curious about. And boom! Oh, there you go. Strike. Oh, is he going to get knocked? Is he going to get up from a walk? Or are you going to get hit by a run? Woohoo! <laughs> oh, beautiful. What, what's the other ones doing? Oh, he's just in the middle of nowhere. And the other one is oh, still making its way out. Oh, we got it on the main street. We got a dinosaur on the main street. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, there it is. Oh, we need to get a good shot. Oh, look at the carnage. Beautiful. <laughs> he looks so happy. Oh, yeah. 
Actually, it looks so derpy. I broke out? <laughs> now what? <laughs> Kill everybody, Allosaurus, please. Yes. Why is that even eating anybody? And oh god, they're all accumulating over here. We have like 10,000 guests in the park, I think? Probably not anymore. They all disappear. We got 5,000 now. They just magically disappear. That's a, that's a thing as well. Guests in j Park had names and places and feelings and thoughts. These guys don't. They just randomly disappear and reappear depending on uh, on how well your park's friggin' doing. Okay, what, what are the other dinosaurs doing? Uh, he's he's up, uh, back in his enclosure. And this guy, oh, ooh, oh, he's went to the power plant to cause some havoc, apparently. You're the only one that's got, oh, that's a Pachycephalosaurus, if I remember right. Oh, no, that's a Pachycephalosaurus enclosure. He has, for some reason, this Allosaurus hasn't managed to actually eat anybody. Uh, I mean, I guess it's not too hungry, but it's just sort of running people over. Uh, where is it? Oh, Car Carnotaurus? Wait, what? The Carnotauruses have escaped now. <laughs> oh! Are you going towards Indominus Rex? This is not a good idea for you, buddy. Uh, anybody killed anybody yet? Nope. Just sort of looking about. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I mean, we could put escapes high now. Just because, every, like, the stress levels of the dinosaurs are pretty damn high. So there's probably more of a chance of them escaping. Uh, the Raptor Squad, they need to be mobilized. Chris, Brad, go. Take the Raptor Squad. Oh, God, they're already going. <laughs> Oh, no, no. I opened the gate and they're not ready to go. Now, there you go. We've got a sick raptor. How about we heal that one? Which one is it? Echo! And uh, who else is sick? Charlie's. Are you Charlie? No. Slot's full. Okay. Um... Oh, they're fighting each other. No, no. I forgot. Wait, they find each other because they're uh, not... Oh, oh, there we go. That's better. There, Jurassic Park Jeep. We don't do that every day. Well, that's the first. <laughs> we got raptors out. Allosaurus there. Oh, we got Allosaurus's. Oh, Allosaurus fighting Carnotaurus here. Beautiful. Oh, yes. And then a dude getting eaten in front of the fight. Oh, that is beautiful. <laughs> Ram, yum, yum. How does he fit? He just disappears. Um. Oh, finally, this Allosaurus decided. Is there anybody here? Oh, there is. Apparently. Oh, oh, we've got to kill. Ah, oh, fantastic. And... Nom. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, it is about time that we just say sod it to the rules and just make holes in the fences. Or just open... I guess we could just open all the gates. Yeah, sod it. We need to... Oh, open panic nine. Can we just skip to all the gates and just click open? Oh, we can. Open, 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 open. Woohoo! Don't close it. Uh, these ones don't count. They're all the same. Oh, fantastic. Okay, so all the dinosaurs are now going to run. Hey, out go the, uh, all the uh, Gallimimus. Oh, fantastic. Yes. What what dinosaur do we have dead? Oh, no. There we go. Starved. Oh, no. <laughs> Starved to death. You're kidding me. We've got unlimited feeders. Oh, I guess that's just natural selection, isn't it? Okay, so we got the raptor squad here. And, well, that, off they go. Who is? We got Delta. Uh, what do we have? Oh, power outage. Echo, Echo's killed a goat. And we have Chris, Charlie. Blue! I think Blue may have just killed somebody. Or just ran past them. I'm not sure the camera angle won't let me go down. Yeah, somebody's dead there. we got people running about everywhere. Yeah, because this is the vivid skin. This is the best you're going to get to Blue without mods. Oh, look at it! Blue is after a meal. Oh, God, is it actually going to walk in? I think it is. I think it's going to walk in. Oh, you're just trying to stalk one of them, Blue. Oh, one of the Beckys. Dinosaur fight. Oh, Pag... <gasps> We're going to see it finally. Yes. Paggy versus Paggy. I love the Lost World sound effects, man. It's awesome. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Electronic. Electronic? Oh, no. Oh, he's always fighting one of the new ones. Oh, ooh, so they do hurt each other. Where's that health's 100, but your health... Oh, oh no! Died in a fight? What? Roland! No, what are you doing? Don't kill each other! Oh, for God's sake, the population's too high. Ah, the Dilophosauruses are out! Oh, lovely. 
Oh, there you go. They just run past. Oh, are they just gonna watch? <laughs> yeah. Oh god, that is like a train. Yeah, the store is just running past. I've still got two and a half stars. I don't know how it manages. Superman misses out. Baryonyx! There you go. Oh, we starting to kill some of the security staff, apparently. Nope, you haven't. You're just walking. Although... Oh, yeah! There you go! Ram! Beautiful. The day is not going well. If only we could have loads of Pteranodons as well. Oh, we got, like, a, a Galamon is paying a visit to those guys. Find oh, Indominus! <laughs> Did you get killed? Get hunted down by blue! Oh, so it did get it. You got who? Magenta. Oh, my gosh. Well, Indominus Rex, have you killed anybody? No! You're just thirsty. Okay, fair enough, I suppose. If you could kill somebody or kill something, that would be great. You're the one that's supposed to have caused all this. <laughs> Are people just running into blue, dying? <laughs> okay. Oh, Indominus ran straight to this enclosure and took a fight against... Bling friggin' bling do! What's the destruction? <laughs> oh, like a Carnotaurus by the, uh, <laughs> the resort world. Do we only have one monorail in operation? No, we might do. Oh, he's picking one. Girl or boy? Female or male? Which one? Oh, he's always oh, fancying a little bit of, um, a little bit of female. A little bit of woman. Who is this? This is Mustard Toast. Go on then. Oh, lovely. There you go. Look at that. Look at it. Um, yum, yum. Oh, 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 I saw somebody moving over there. Okay, where are the rest of the Stingy Molochs? Where am I? Chris and D Dilophosaurus. Oh, Chris. Oh, he's got him, I think. Oh, no, no, who's going to win? Who's going to win? Oh, oh, they decide to kill each other? Or are they are just going to run away? No, nope, they're going to run away. Okay, fair enough. Good, good job, guys. Survival of the fittest. Oh, it'd be so cool if an Ankylosaur could just whack it. Again. RNG, like random stuff that can happen in Operation Genesis, was like ankylosaurs would just whack dinosaurs and just kill them. Um, oh, Allosaurus and a Suchomimus in the Suchomimus exhibit. So he's never got out. Bless him, he's probably definitely gonna die. Uh, we got another Allosaur on the main street. Oh, and he's gonna kill every boom, boom, boom. Go on, knock him all, buddy. Bowl him over. Is this Big Al? It is. It's bigger, Al. Okay, go to large power station. We got power station outage. Well, would you believe? Oh my God! There's death everywhere. Um, okay. Oh, look. There we go. Bam! You see that? He <laughs> knocked him over. We got an Alice. Oh, Allosaurus taking down a Pachycephalosaurus. There, poor thing. And that's probably the last. Oh, that was an Alpha. That's probably the last Pachycephalosaurus. Even though I made him up. Um. Oh, what's that? Stingy Moloch dead as well. Have we got any left? So you're on 863 and you're on 78. So yeah, T-Rex is definitely going to do Yeah, he's going to do one more fight and then I'll stop fighting. So have we got any Stingy Molochs alive? Oh, no. Killed pro probably by the Lophosaurus. Nope, you're dead as well. Uh, oh, we have a living! Green! Green's alive! Probably the safest place for it to be because it can't... Uh, Carnivore can't get a friggin' chomp on it because it's kind of stuck. Uh, show monorail? Where are we? God damn it, I'm always in a friggin... Oh, Delta and a Dilophosaurus. Ooh. Ooh, right in the face. Dilophosauruses are probably gonna die, though. Oh, Indominus against Red Boy! No, Red Boy! Beautiful, and down it goes. Oh, nom nom nom. That's blooming heavy from... Oh, look, we've got a cheeky Triceratops over here. <laughs> oh, Pachycephalosaurus, yeah. Finally ran away. Carnotaurus is hunting. Oh, look! A, a Houdini! He looks so cool. I like that skin. Anybody gonna run into him and die? Could have, could have, very easily. Okay, Monorail, where are you? Please don't be in another stop. God freaking every time! Uh, is Green. Oh, Green's dead. Died to blue. Right, last Stingy Moloch died. Events of Fallen Kingdom could not have happened now. Uh, oh, blue against that. Okay, it's about time we change the sandbox settings. There we go. Indominus. Ooh. Carnotaurus fighting another car. No, don't do this. Toast too. Don't kill Mustard Toast, please. And you save your strength for the Indominus. Two dinosaurs killed. And humans? Zero. Wow, it has not killed a single person. How many people do we have in the park still? 5,000. <laughs> where? Please tell me where 5,000 people are. I would love to- Oh, you gonna kill somebody? Oh, you're going camo. It's in the resort world. Oh dear, there's a lot of people in the resort world. 
Chris and Dennis. Ooh, Chris Pratt versus Dennis Nedry. Who will win? Oh, a Stegosaurus. Oh, yep. Oh, look, they're all leaving now. <laughs> all the Stegos are out. Against the Baryonyx. I don't think I've made my herbivores good fighters. I'm not sure. Has it, have you been hit? Whoa, 32! Oh my god, the Stegosaur might get... Oh, he's given up. <laughs> oh, we got an Allosaur coming for it. Um, I think we've lost all the Sukumimuses, have we? Where's the other one? Yep, Sukumimus extinct. There you go, place your bets. Who's going to survive? Uh, we've got a lot of death over here. A lot of death. Oh, we got a T-Rex, an Allosaurus. Probably since I've opened all the fences, everything's now just going to die. But they're all sort of like standing still trying to line up. Um, oh, Toast 2 did kill him! Oh, you traitor! That's Carno 04. Toast 2, there it is. You little bugger, you. Oh, there's people. Yeah, I, I would hide in there, mate. I would, honestly. Echo is still going. Oh my god, the Raptor Squad is doing beautiful work. Chris is still alive, although a bit. Um, oh no, no, health just a little bit low. Uh, Charlie is alive. And Blue is. The whole Raptor Squad is still kicking. And I'm pretty sure a lot of the Dilophosauruses have probably died. So Dilo 8, Dilo 9, Dilo 10, Dilo 11. Dennis. Oh no, Dennis is still alive. They've survived their fight. Wayne. Oh, okay. Oh no, to be paras. Yeah, so there's there's a few Dilophosauruses. I don't think any of the small carnivores have died. Okay, so Alice, I, how are the Alisaurs doing? They're, they're all alive. Of course the Alisaurs are all alive. They're way overpowered. Oh my god, yes! Dilophosaurus versus Blue. Oh, I don't know. I want to see this death. Because Stegosaurus has killed animation's awesome. Hey, come on. I want to know. If oh, we got a storm coming. Ah, fair enough. I'll let that happen. Whoppa! That's it. Yes! He's going to die! <laughs> Suck it, Baryonyx! It could take it. It's down! Beautiful. I love that animation. The Stegosaurus is like, what just happened? Right, where's Blue? Can you find a raptor quickly? Or a Dilophosaurus that's in, in fight with Blue. So either Blue's died, or oh, another person dead by the Dilophosaurus is fantastic. Carnotaurus against Pebbles. Ooh. Oh, T-Rex versus the... Oh, no! Is that Polacanthus? I think that's the Polacanthus. No, Blingless. Rawr. Oh, it looks gorgeous. If we just had different animations all the time, different things that could happen, that would really separate. Oh, Bebbles! Ah, uh, Bebble goes down as well. Oh, there's a, one of the last Pachycephalosauruses in here, dead. Houdini? You're still going! Where are all the other Mudaborosauruses? Oh, they're kind of okay. Yeah, they're, they're actually all alive. They're all here! Uh, oh, De Dennis and Chris. Dennis is fighting Chris again! Oh, they just want to end it. Oh, no, again, running away. Wow, okay. All the Triceratopses are moving together in a herd formation. So now it's... Oh, yes. Look at that lit up on the gyrosphere track. I like how there's still people getting in the freaking gyrospheres. <laughs> I guess if we put shelters up, then um, they would probably all stop. Um, so these guys... Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. So you got one bite off and you probably got ruined. Absolutely good. And down he goes. Oh, that looked awesome. With the light. Boom. And take an out. So what was the other fight? It's, oh, yep. So Stella, the two Baronaxes are dead. Dominus Rex is a danger to guests, but also would like to ride the gyrosphere. Now, when we've done battles in the past, Raptors have always lost when we've done the battle royales to Dilophosaurus. But not this time. Delta gets the kill. Dilophosaurus taken out one of them. Only a few left, really. I mean, there was only about five. Oh, Allosaurus is not paying any attention to the Triceratops. Dilophosaurus against... Ah, oh, beautiful. Gotta chop down on a little scientist every now and again. Uh, Blue, are you okay? Oh, against Dilophosaurus 11. Oh, we got a dead raptor. Oh, no. One of them's died. Who is that? Chris. No. Killed by Wayne. Ah, hey, Indominus Rex against... Oh, well, oh, right in front of the gyrosphere. Oh, beautiful. Imagine seeing that. Imagine seeing that. Hold on, we gotta get a picture of this. <laughs> That's great. 
<laughs> Get that shot of him looking down at the gyrosphere. Oh, that is beautiful. Right, so we need to now find where T-Rex is. Oh, he's just constantly roaring at this thing. Lego my stego! You dare kill Lego my stego. No, don't go with that triceratops. Don't do it, there's an indominus. Okay, ooh, ooh, what's over here? Oh, we've got Charlie taking on another Dilophosaurus. Right, where is this friggin' T-Rex? Is there any Parasaurs left? Is this the only one? Oh no, it's the only one. Doesn't even have a name. It's in the T-Rex enclosure. <laughs> oh, lonely, no. Right, you, oh, that, yes, you were killed by T-Rex. We're, we're getting somewhere, killed by T-Rex. That's good, what are you killed by? Killed by Toast too. Yes, there she is. There, beautiful horn face. Have you been stabbed? Okay, well, we need to call the Rex now. I, d I don't even know why I didn't call it Rexy. But what, what was the T-Rex called actually? It did have a name. Like the animatronic did have a name. So how many kills have you got? 15 goats, 3 dinosaurs, making that 4. But zero humans! Look at her! She's got a heart! She's a hero! She won't kill people! Oh yes! All the raptors are taking out the Dilophosauruses! Because these Dilophosauruses were killing you! Oh, Magini! Oh, Magini killed, killed the Carnotaur! Oh no, Magini's taken out! Oh no, did it? Yeah, one dinosaur killed! No, Magini! No! Oh, Toast 2's taking on the Triceratops! Malcolm! Oh, the T-Rex is coming in! Bam. No, the poor Polacanthus. <laughs> oh, I took it out. These Triceratopses, yeah, they don't stand a chance. So we've lost one raptor, and now I think three. Dennis is finally gone after killing 19 humans. <laughs> well, there you go. Just like real Dennis, killed every anybody. Uh, times medicated once, times tranquilized two, and diseases contracted one. So we do have a little medical record there. Allosaurus fighting another Triceratops, but it's not going to stand a chance. Triceratops, that is. Dilophosaurus against Blue. <gasps> Blue's not looking. Oh, Blue's going to die! Oh, no! And Blue's taken out. There you go. Oh, Indominus Rex is in this one. Oh, oh, it's taken out the Panosaurus. She's killing for sport. That's it. No. She's gonna kill all of them. How many have you killed? Still only five. Bigger Al versus. Oh, there we go. That's how we do it. Allosaurus versus Allosaurus. Yes, kill each other. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Power's failing. Power's failing around the park. Everything's off. So now, yep, there we go, darkness. How about that? We've got no power. Cause it looks like they shouldn't be running this way. Let's go to this woman. She's running as well. Oh, no, oh, oh, she's turned around. Oh, it's a Dilophosaurus. Go on, run into them. Kill 52 of them. Apparently it's content. Oh no, that's why I turned around. Delta. Oh, the Triceratops just mowing down some people in the background there. Oh no! Kill Delta! Oh my god, Dilophosauruses are on the comeback! And... Yeah, they don't... That's one of my favourite Stegosaur sounds, right there. I love that sound. Yeah, it doesn't stand a chance. Has it already been attacked? Looks like it's probably already been attacked. Yeah, 45%. It's just going to be bitten one more time and that's it. That's, the, that's a shame! Because even in Operation Genesis, like the Stegosaur would turn around and start whacking its tail. Like, a Stegosaur would never engage in a frontal assault with a carnivore? Are you kidding me? And it led to some amazing things where, like, a Stegosaur would kill, like, a souped-up dinosaur. Um, like, a really big carnivore. Just because, out of sheer luck, when it would turn around and whack its tail, it would just run into it. So, we can, um, activate. What did it turn on? Did it turn on the monorail? I think it turned on the monorail. <gasps> who, who did it? And friend seeker, so Houdini did die. Aww. Oh, they're fighting each other again. Bigger Al and Al. Big Al. So these two are probably going to kill each other. Once they start fighting, that's it. It's going to do one more bite. Boom. Take it out. There we go. Oh, no. Got a little Triceratops just... Oh, look at them. It's <laughs> just sort of following. Yeah, Harding's the, um, the, the matriarch. And it's just following. 
bless it. There you go. You can just see a, a Taurosaurus being ripped apart. It's kind of cool. They're just sort of following the migration path. Or like just the normal footpath. Oh, Tor oh Taurosaurus. Yes. The last toast, toast too. It's a shame to see it go, but it's also amazing. Bam. To see a herbivore win. Oh no, we only have one raptor left. Echo and Delta died to wane. The raptor squad is a failure. Oh, dumpling! Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, imagine that. That would like being get hit. By, you'd basically be hit by a truck or a train if you were get hit by that. Bam! Oh, one of the last stegosaurs. Oh, wait, I was going to say, is it running in? Oh, this is like the last safe haven for people is like the hotels. You'd just go in, wouldn't you? You'd be like, come on. So what's the star rating for this place? I'm curious. We've still got a five star rating for dinosaurs. <laughs> Poor safety, apparently. There you go. See, it's just, you know, th th that's a VIP experience. See the inside of a dinosaur. Current value, two million. Oh, oh, it's at the resort world. Well, oh, never mind. <laughs> I love this little place. Cause it's got like little, little windy roads that go like, oh, wait, what, a fence was broken here? Who broke that fence? Are you gonna kill any more people? Oh, it is. It's going in. Camouflaging. And. Ram, yum, yum, yum. Beautiful. Oh, nice to see a Dominus Ray. It'd be so cool if it picked somebody up, though. Like it did with that guy who was like, it can camouflage. Oh, hunted down by Indominus. Oh, Indominus has been here. He's killed two. Oh, you have ticks. Oh, died from ticks. Well, there you go. What was. What, how many kills did you get? 21 humans killed! Good lord. Oh, there we go. Indominus just spectating the last battle going on here. You see, this is what happened after the events of Jurassic Park. They just friggin' fought each other. Oh no, there's a Dilophosaurus in there and I hunted down like the last... Oh no, there's another Montosaurus. Yeah, there's only one more Montosaurus and one more Parrot and one more Motoborosaurus. Oh, hold on! T-Rex taking on a Cynoceratops. And he goes to 45. Yep, he's dead. And Indominus against what? Oh, another one. He looks like he's already been bit as well. 45%. Yeah. If they definitely won the fight, they take him down to 45%. So we can watch this guy die. Just like that. Ripped apart by Indominus. And then we can see his friend. Which is... Yeah, also died to an Indominus. <laughs> Sorry, to T-Rex. So there is only one Cynoceratops left. And it's pretty safe at the moment all the way in here. The only way to get to it is to go through that gate, that gate, and then through there. Or this gate, and then through there. So it's pretty darn safe. Wait, is he talking to the goat? He was talking to the goat! I've never seen that before! <laughs> see those humans? I'm going to kill them. <laughs> Don't turn around! No! Have you never seen Jurassic Park? Wham! Oh, you can't put day-night cycle. I forgot. I like having control, okay? And the next day reveals its head. And this guy loses his head. Oh, a Triceratops. Oh, no! The T-Rex found it. It's the last one. Oh, no. Lady Margaret is split up from Harding. Oh, no. It's, it's dead. The T-Rex found it, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Oh my god, there's a Stegosaurus still alive. Is that the only one? Steve! The original Steve! He's alive! Alive and well. If, um, if a disease has an outbreak, unless you cure it, it keeps on going and it literally kills everything, so everything's gonna die of ticks. And, you know what? Thus ends on a dark and windy day with a T-Rex running through the streets and most people dead and most every other dinosaur dead. That's pretty much the best we're gonna do at the moment until they release aquatic DLC or flyers. That's the best we're gonna do. So if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you later. Oh, bye bye Oh no, no, Steve, no! Oh!